in this video, we will talk about easy planet. Noise is unwanted sound and it is considered as unpleasant. The number of people who are aware of noise pollution in our modern globe is decreasing. Therefore, this video may assist in raising awareness about the effects and consequences of noise pollution on humans. The objectives of this video is to give information about noise pollution in our daily life, to discover the negative effects of noise pollution in our environment, and to encourage students to learn more about noise pollution. Noise is any sound that is undesired or interferes with one's hearing of something. Noise is loud, confused or senseless, shouting or outcry. The characteristic is natural, or routine sound or something like animal. There are four types of noise. Physical noise, psychological noise, physiological noise, and semantic noise. Physical noise is interference that is external to both the speaker and listener. It hampers the physical transmission of the signal or message. Psychological noise is mental interference in the speaker or listener. Physiological noise created by barriers within the sender or receiver. Semantic noise interferes with communication. Interference is created when the speaker and listener have different meaning systems. Which sound can damage your hearing? Oh really? I'm still young to lose my hearing. How can it happen? A single loud sound such as firecrackers near your ear might cause hearing loss. Hearing loss can develop over time. As a result of damage caused by prolonged exposure to loud sounds, the higher the duration of exposure, the greater the chance of hearing loss. Noise hazard in construction. Regular 8 hours exposures to 85 dBA can damage your hearing. The higher the noise level, the faster the hearing loss. As an example, we have jackhammer with 100 dBA, chop saw with 105 dBA, and chainsaw with 115 dBA. Here are some of the examples. Example of noise in workshop Grinder and orbital sanders with 170 dBA Work with sheet metal with 93 dBA And paint spraying with 93 dBA For garden equipment, we have petrol mowers and leaf blowers with 85 to 100 dBA Industrial machinery composed of various noise sources, as example, industrial gas jets with 105 dBA, woodworking machines with 106 dBA, and handheld tools with 110 dBA. Effects of noise pollution Long-term exposure to noise can cause a variety of health effects, especially for the workers at the workplace. Effect of hearing loss Employees were unable to detect high-pitched noise. They were more likely to become clumsy and make mistakes. Risk of accident 
Employees can be distracted by noise. They may also fail to hear warnings and alarms or fully understand any spoken instructions they receive. Communication Louder than usual ambient noise means that employees are forced to raise their voices in order to maintain a conversation. Stress Inability to concentrate or the need to raise voice. Therefore, some people cannot handle the environment. Sleep issue, harmful effect on the body, contribute to chronic disorders such as heart disorders. The first step of creating this video is by literature search. The second step is video compilation. Third step is video dissemination. And the final step is questionnaire survey to 30 students of Diploma of Environmental Health. This educational video gives me a new understanding on the noise pollution. This educational video helps to increase my awareness about noise pollution in our daily life. This educational video helped me to understand better on the effect of noise pollution. This educational video boosts my knowledge about types of noise. I could keep my learning pace with this instructional video. This educational video encouraged me to understand the examples of noise pollution. This educational video increased my motivation to learn. This educational video provides a great way to convey a wealth of information in a short time. This educational video enhances multisensory learning. Overall, I was satisfied with the design of this educational video. Commercialization Potential This video has a great potential to be used as a formal education resources. It also can be used as a marketing tool in promoting the program diploma in environmental health.